Hey guys, and welcome to the quickest way to level to 300 in the new DLC Fantastic Four. So we have a new 5th ISO slot that can be unlocked once your hero reaches level 250. So you have to wait for each hero to unlock the level 250, and then you can equip them with another team experience gem that has another 100% there, or like a plus 2, which is all I can afford right now because I don't have that many white gems to upgrade all of mine. But the first thing you're going to have to do is do a quick danger room. Now, you only have to do this once while your Nintendo is logged into the game. If, you're, if you've been in the game the whole time and you've done a danger room, you don't have to keep redoing this. The reason you have to do this is because there's a bug in the game with the Infinity Rifts that doesn't let you click retry right after beating the rift, which we need. We need to click retry instead of waiting for a loading screen every single time we want to do it. And the Infinity Rift that we're going to be doing is the traditional Lambda... Rush 48. It is not dead, dudes. It's right over here, and it works really, really well. If you're starting at 200, you can almost get 10 levels in your first run. Just fully decked out with Team Experience Gems, dude. It basically took me about, I think, 15, 15 runs of this, and my heroes at 200 went straight to 300. It took me about just over half an hour or so, like, yeah, give or take, like 40 minutes or so. So as usual, what you gotta do in this rift is kill the heroes. The enemy heroes give you a lot of experience. They will be leveling you up every single time you kill one, basically. So they spawn in the order of Miss Marvel across the room, and then it will be Miles Morales on the opposite side of where Miss Marvel spawned, and then it will be Spider Gwen where Miss Marvel spawned, and then it will be Miss Marvel again, and then, you know, Miles, Spider Gwen, and at the last minute of the game, like the when you see the counter at the top right there, when it hits like a minute, uh, Doctor Strange will spawn right in the middle of the thing and then you can kind of just use your ult and just like murder him right there. It's quite simple, quite easy, and you're going to be getting a lot of experience like this. I recommend using heroes that are all able to level, like I'm just using my main team here, Star-Lord, Miss Marvel her herself, Wasp, and Doctor Doom because he's actually really cool. I I I'm enjoying playing with him, especially with these double lasers. Holy shit, he's strong. So the key tip to making this as effective as possible is to kill the enemy heroes as quickly as possible. Don't even worry about the other monsters or the other bad guys. Try kill the enemy heroes immediately because right after one dies, it, it will go like a 10 second timer and right after 10 seconds, another hero will spawn. So basically, the more heroes you can kill or the quicker you kill them means the more heroes you get to actually kill, which means more experience. So if you're doing really well and you're murdering heroes like one after the other, you're going to be rolling in experience before you even know, dude. And right when you get to the end, you'll actually get the retry option instead of going to the main menu because you did the danger room. Uh, alternatively, you can just sit and, and wait if you don't want to do a danger room. Danger room usually takes about 10 to 15 minutes, which is kind of crap because you, you got to do that every single time you open your game and you want to like farm levels. So yeah, there's, for, unfortunately, we haven't found a, a quicker shortcut yet. If you do know one, let me know in the comments below because I'd be very interested in that. Thanks for watching, dudes. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in a future video.